Hello, I'm Bruce Dynasty. Heuristics have existed since humans began making decisions. Heuristics are used when exhaustive research is not a possibility and could be described in many ways. These ways include common sense, intuitive judgment, and giving an educated guess. Humans use heuristics to make decisions systematically through trial and error. But as long as humans have had the cognitive properties to make decisions, they have had the ability to make incorrect decisions as well. The problem with heuristics is that under certain circumstances, these rules that humans follow to cause errors of cognitive biases. One of these biases is omission bias. Reporters in the field, Carlos Sanchez and Adrian Stiffwell have more on the issue. Adrian. Thanks, Bruce. Here we have Gregory Bates, a student of psychology at Indiana University. Mr. Bates, could you briefly tell us what omission bias is? Of course, Adrian. I'm a huge fan. Thanks. <laughs> well, omission bias essentially says that humans tend to consider actions that cause harm to be less moral than inaction. What do you mean inaction? What I mean by this is that people tend to think that causing harm is less moral than allowing harm to come to someone, even if the consequences are the same in both situations. This is compelling indeed. Earlier today, our other reporters caught up with a couple students around Indiana University campus to discuss their experiences with omission bias. Sir, are you aware of omission bias? What the hell is that? Let me try to put it in a way you might understand. Have you ever tried to put a roofie in a girl's drink at your, one of your totally wicked frat parties? What? No, nah, bro, no. No, no, I wouldn't do that. That's, what? No, that's not how I roll. Okay, okay, I see. Well, have you ever seen someone else put a roofie in a girl's drink? What? I mean, yeah, but it's not like I, I didn't do it. It's not like I did it or anything. I mean, he's the one who did it. Well, couldn't it be argued that you are just as culpable because of your inaction? Uh, well, what, what do you mean? I didn't even do it, though. That's, that's, I didn't do it. I didn't put it in. Just because he put it in and I didn't do anything doesn't mean I'm at fault here. If the negative outcome of an innocent girl being taken advantage of is the same, how can you say that you doing nothing is a better moral choice? <laughs> Whatever, bro. I'm just going to go to the gym and get my tan. Excuse me, ladies. Can I ask you a few questions? Well, certainly. Aren't you Carlos Sanchez? Indeed, I am. I have a few questions for you. Okay, go ahead. All right, let's pretend you're a doctor. You have a patient who has just recovered from critical surgery and is in the intensive care unit at your hospital. However, his, he still has symptoms that require medical attention, but attention he could receive in the regular medical floor. Would you rather move the patient or keep the patient where he is to finish his recovery? Well, I would say that he should stay in recovery until he's fully stable. What makes you choose this option? Well, it just seems that it's the best course of action not to do anything and let the patient recover. Okay. As the saying goes, do, do no harm first. Alright, well thanks. Back to you, Bruce.